Hey guys, this is Crypto Marie. I'm gonna do a part two because for some reason, as I was recording the um, Where's My Money, when I put it in the bank, the phone keep on saying it's full, full storage. Uh, I can't, I could not keep finishing what I wanted to tell you guys. Again, this is Crypto Marie. She does it all. I'm gonna explain a few things to you investing in the in the crypto market, what a few words mean and why when you invest in the crypto market or the stock market or in real estate, it's a life changing situation. Your attitude change, your outlook in life change, right? So again, um, the last thing I remember saying was, where is my money, right? And then the fun cut off. Anyhow, where is my money? When the guy said, if you have 1,000 or 100 people with money in the bank and they all decide to go get the money from the bank one morning, they all said, okay, we need our money. What a coincidence, right? We're all going to go and get our money and see what happened. Physically, the money is not in the bank. There was no way they will be able to give those 1,000 people or five to 10,000 people all their money on spot. Why? Because when you put your money in the bank, they loan the money to somebody else for whatever reason, for business purposes, to buy a car, to buy a house. The money is not in the bank, right? But again, growing up, your parents say you have to have money. You have to save money in the bank. The money is saved. That's where you can get it whenever you want to. In reality, the money physically is not there, right? So when he said that, I said, oh, wow, this is a wake-up call for me. I know they don't give you enough interest back. But the quick things about it, the crooked thing, they make money with your money, charging people high interest rate, but do not give you a dime back in return for using your money to make money. So the bank really is not in our side, right? Okay, that's one thing. So when they talk about crypto, there was a few words, a few um vocabulary words when you invest that you start getting used to them you need to know what they mean why they use them how they use them what is the reason what is the purpose and um of course you could always do your research and find out why they use those words but of course i'm here to help out a little bit right so when they say there was fear in the market f-e-a-r fear mean fear uncertainty and doubt people are afraid so what they do they sell their coins they sell they they they, they stock they share because they don't want to lose the little bit they have fear uncertainty fear uncertainty and doubt right fomo f o m o fear of missing out that's what it means that's when the coins is going up, everybody going to buy, people are afraid they're going to miss out on not buying. They go put whatever they had. They don't care how much it was. The same thing happened to Shiba Inu when Shiba Inu was up. Everybody going buying it expensive. I remember one person say, oh, for, for 10 millions, I think, or 50 millions right now, at $530, should I get it? I said, I cannot give you financial advice. We don't know where it's going to go from here. It could think it could go up it's up to you think about it i strongly think that person did purchase it for 550 dollars and right now the 50 million or, or or the 10 million i think is maybe two three hundred something dollar don't count me on that please do the math okay it's just to show you when people are uh in a hurry that's why I said people do the opposite of what they're supposed to do. When the market is down, no, no financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. But when the market is down, you could buy it at cheap price and wait for it to go crazy. Green, you sell, you make profit, you get some money. People don't do that. They say, oh, no, uh -uh, I don't want that. It's too cheap. I want to wait till it get up. Really? Are you serious right now? And when it goes up, when everybody running to buy it, that's when it become more expensive because there was more demand on it. People are buying it more. That's why people are going crazy. So fear is a fear, uncertainty, 
endowed. FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out. All right? So if I miss anything, let me know. Sometime words twist in my head. I probably say the wrong thing, but trust me, that's what it is. So anyway, those two words, you will hear them a lot. You will hear them a lot in the crypto market or in the stock market. Blockchain, cryptocurrency, NFTs. Uh, it's so many other words you're going to hear. If you're in that area, if you're in that community, there was new words coming to your vocabulary. You will talk to people out of nowhere. It come out, you're like, oh, God, did I just say something in crypto? <laughs> because your language changed. Your attitude changed. Your outlook changed in life. That's why they said in Salvador, the crime rate is down. It's down. I remember the first time I experienced the hype of being an investor is when I went to a family, a local family dollar store. And the uh, cashier was giving me attitude for no reason, really. I was just paying for my stuff, and she gave me this look, and I'm like, um, how much is that, da, 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 da. But the response was something I did not expect. Usually I will get really pissed off and uh, angry and walk away, but then for some reason I said, God, you have nothing on me. With all, no disrespect, but... Thinking of how much I had invested in the stock market, not even crypto. And I said, you know what? Today I might be here coming shopping at a lo local family dollar store, being disrespected by someone. But at the same time, one day I might be a millionaire, a billionaire. You never know. And that kind of bring a smile to my face. It kind of changed my attitude. It kind of changed my outlook in life saying, okay, Right now, I might be here tomorrow. You just never know where I'm going to be. And that change, and I smile. Instead of walk away, leave the stuff there, or give an attitude. No, I just said, oh, okay. I'm a different. I'm in a different path in my life right now. I am an investor right now. I'm a businesswoman, you know. Um, you have nothing on me, really. In my heart, I didn't say it to that cashier. No disrespect. I said it to myself. I invest in the stock market, you know, like you feel good about it. And that's why I realize if they say the crime rate is down, it is, it's a possibility it could go down because when you invest, you have a different perspective in life. You, you have a different outlook in life. You're not going to try to commit crime knowing one day you could become a millionaire. One day you could be financial independent, financially independent. You're not going to go uh, steal stuff from somebody else. You know, even even when it comes to the stimulus check, I remember the first time they said they were going to give stimulus check. I could not wait to put my hand on it. But now it's like, no, uh -uh. I don't want no free money. Yeah, you give it to me, I'll take it. But I want to work hard for my money. I want to invest what I work for and make money out of out of what I invest in. You know, it, it just make you feel good and then have a different outlook when you invest in the stock market or the crypto market. And another thing, some uh, Christian have a a low or a logo. I think it's his it's his oh, I forgot how you say that. It's something he said making money while you're sleeping. And I had another YouTuber said that. And I said it's true. When you invest in the stock market, if you invest in the right stock and the right share and you invest in the right crypto of course, things can always turn down. Not financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. But that saying is so true. When they say, why are you sleeping? Your money is working for you. You might say, crypto money, what do you mean by that? If you invest, like in crypto, crypto is 24-7. In the middle of the night, you, get, you have to get up for whatever reason, drink some water, or do whatever you have to do. And you say, well, let me see how the market is doing. It could be on the green side or it could be on the red side. But you don't have to do anything. You don't have to lift anything. You just put your money in there and let your money work for you. That's what they mean while you're sleeping, your money is working for you. Don't you want to be somebody that's taking a nice nap and your money going up to your portfolio? 10%, 20% up. You don't have to do anything, lifting anything. I want to be one of them. What about you? That's why investing is a changing life situation is a changing life outlook right now 
us that invest in those low coins, when we hear story about people from Shiva, from Dogecoin millionaire that made so much money in his situation, he didn't cash out early enough. He lost it all. But when we hear about those people, we say, this could be me one day. I could get the house I wanted for my kids. You know, I can, I can purchase that brand new car. 2020, 23 just came out of the market. Zero miles. You know, I could buy this five, six bedroom house that I've always wanted for my kids because you invest, you have hope, you have dream. This is how I feel. I don't know about you. I don't just put my money in there and say, oh, well, if something good come, good. If not, no, no, no. I invest with this attitude saying, okay, I invest today. I sacrifice a certain thing to invest today because I know that money going to multiply one day. That money going to triple one day, quadruple one day. And I'm going to be out of poverty. And I'm going to know what is it like to be in a successful life that you don't have to do nine to five. You can retire early, you know. This is the reason I invest to create a better environment for my kids, to create generational wealth for my kids, to, to have a better outlook, to live life freely, not living paycheck to paycheck, yeah? It is disgusting living paycheck to pay. I know a lot of us doing it right now. We have no choice. We have to pay bills. We have to feed the kids. But living paycheck to paycheck is not the way of making it. It's not the way of doing it. It is crazy to stand up on your feet, work, 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 and at the end of the two weeks, whatever you get is not even enough to cover the bills, yeah? It's not even enough to cover the bills. That's what I'm saying, investing. Do your homework. We have the internet for free. Anywhere you go, you in your car, you could Google stuff. No, don't do it because you're driving. You have to pay attention. But wherever you are, you have access to internet. This generation, this time now, you can educate yourself. You're, you don't have to blame your parents anymore for not teaching you about financial institutions financial investing, uh, how to buy a house, how to flip the house. You can go on YouTube. Yeah. To me, I call YouTube my university, my free university. So whatever you need to know, whatever you need to learn, you go to YouTube, you go to you, uh, Google, you put the information there. Before you know it, you could become a mastermind in it. You could do anything you put your mind into. Anything. I don't care where you're from, what is your background, if you speak with an accent, if you speak with perfect English. America is a country of opportunity. Yes, there was a lot of racism. There was a lot of, oh, there was a lot of things going on in there. But if you put your mind into it, if you said, I can do this, if you say, listen, I'm going to get out of my pity self. I'm going to get out of my situation. I'm going to make something out of myself. I don't care if I was brought up from the ghettos. I don't care if I was brought up from the hood, but I'm going to get out of this and make something for myself. And a lot of people have done it. A lot of people, you don't have to be an actor. You don't have to be an actress. You don't have to be a, uh, you don't have to have a, forgive me. You don't have to have a PhD. It's always good to have an education. I believe in education, but you can always get out of your situation. Find out information. Knowledge is power. When you know stuff, you know better, you do better. All right, guys? Again, I wanted to tell you a few things. As always, I'm always surpass my limit because I get passionate. I get into it. Before you know it, before you know it, you get a whole full video, 15, 20 minutes. I love the crypto market. I know it's going to change my life. It's going to change a lot of our lives. And we just got to be patient and wait. Again, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment as always. We're going to bring those little information we find from here and there. Of course, the whole channel is really focusing on cryptocurrency. Soon I'm going to bring you some stock, but also life lessons also going to be in there because we need that. Yeah, we need that support to keep it moving. We need that support to know one day we're not going to leave paycheck to paycheck. We're going to have more than enough. Our cup will be overflowed. We're not going to have to do nine to five working hard and they don't even appreciate what you do. No, no, we don't have to do that anymore. We're going to have enough to live. Like I said, uh, the one guys, Kyle Weber and Nick, his friend, when they tell you about where they come from, how now they live in a comfortable life in Miami Beach. Uh, Kyle Weber, his wife is pregnant, expecting a baby. I'm so happy for him. Congratulations to him. He's given me so much courage knowing Crypto is not fake. Crypto is not a scam. Crypto is not a game. 
He used to sleep in his grandma's basement. He even one time showed the basement. Because this, this guy is war. He's going to give it to you. He said he had a... He owed... I have videos on it. I I, I don't remember exactly. I, I don't know if it's twenty four or thirty thirty four thousand dollars he had all the people and he had seven cents in his account. And now, because of crypto, he doesn't have to work for nobody and he's living comfortably. Nick also his friend from the run guys, they create the company run guys. You guys have to watch them and see where you at right now. One day you could be in a situation or better because the lower you buy the coin, there's a better chance you become a millionaire. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research, your own due diligence before you purchase any coin. Again, this is Crypto Marie. I'm going to bring you a little bit life lesson. I'm going to bring you the, the, the crypto market. I'm going to bring you the the um, uh, the stock market, whatever is going on. If something important, I'm going to also bring it because we are a family. We have to share knowledge. Knowledge is power. If you know, I know, we know. They can take us for a fool. All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, and have a beautiful day. God bless you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for leaving a comment. May God bless you and have a beautiful, beautiful day. This is Where is My Money? What are the voc vocabulary of the crypto market? <sighs> Everything in one. Enjoy it. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye.